Beer, beer, we want more beer. Get to know the rounding, get to know the rounding. Madonna, che stronzo che sei! Oh, vetto inglese disastro! Oh, indosto. Ma sei bongers? Sei cretino? The Magnet Museum is now happy. Oh, and it's Rita's birthday. She's 40. <laughs> Pet! Get off me. Go on. Open it. Drum roll, please. It's not just a card. Sheldon. Rita. You haven't. I have. You haven't. I might have. Oh, I'll have to do my bikini line. Good idea. You can get all that stuff there and there'll be plenty left over for your soaps and the new refen you like. For that, I need to go all the way to Florida. I can get it all in boots. Exactly. Oh, thank you. Boots vouchers. There's a message. Go on, read it. To Rita, birthday greetings from Sheldon. Birthday greetings. Right. Better get the bins out. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Eat brick, pig! I smash my window, eh, pubis? Where you? Pubis? No, he weren't. Underarm? Underarm? What's this lady's hockey day? <laughs> you want to use your shoulder, lad. Like this. Hold on. You're very lucky I can't prove it with you that threw that brick. Pubis? Very lucky indeed. You can't make a gibbon out of Detective Inspector Lindsay DePaul. Currently suspended. On full pay? Yes, I do occasionally masturbate. The feeling of self-loathing soon passes. Every year the same. We aim to please. Birthday greetings from Sheldon. Get well soon from Sheldon. Whatever happened to love Sheldon? Love from Sheldon. You know I don't go in for all that lovey-dovey stuff. Who am I? Neil Diamonds. <laughs> No, Neil Diamond would have written something nice. Dear Rita, sorry I can't be with you on your special day, but I'm performing in a royal gala charity concert for all the sick children in the world. Lots of love. Love from Neil. It's a wig, you know. His hair. It's a bouffon. It's a big do. Is it a wig? It is not a wig. He dyes it. Neil Diamond does not dye his hair. All right, he dyes his hair. I bet he doesn't give his wife boots vouchers for a birthday present. No, Neil knows what a woman wants. And what's that? What, well, about his latest LP? He gets him for free, doesn't he? Mm. Well, if Neil was here now, he could get something else from me for free. Morning, Ken. Oh, morning, Mr. C. Lovely, isn't she? Triffid boobs. Actually, I was just wondering, would it be at all possible to borrow a cup of sugar? <laughs> We've just uh, run out over at the hotel. Jam-packed we are. You haven't forgotten the surprise party, no. have you? No, no. Ta-da! Sponge. Fruit. Cheeky. Right, now, sugar. I don't suppose we could have one of these cups back one of these days, could we? Yes. May natural more. Eh? Hey? Yes. Oh. <laughs> The doors. I'm terribly busy. It's me, Rita. Oh, hi, Rita. Hi, Pat. How are you? Fine. Good. Good. I don't stand out here all day. Come in. So 
Sorry about the smell. I think I've got vermin again. <gasps> Have you seen this? It's a replica of the magnet I awarded Nelson Mandela to congratulate him on escaping from prison after 22 years. And this one I got from a dialysis machine. If the hospital find out, they go mental. <laughs> Are you on? On what? No, you just look a bit tense, that's all. I suppose I am. Make yourself at home. It's my chair. <sighs> Sheldon? Yes? Disappointing gift? Oh, yes. Men? <laughs> and women? Have a chocolate swine? No, really, Pat, I don't oh, think please. I will. <laughs> They're going off. Mine was a bit fizzy. Here, our pet. Why, um... I don't suppose that's got anything to do with me, has it? Yes, it has, actually. Oh, you know what's on TV later? Naughty Dog. Oh, it's brilliant. Last week, Naughty Dog got a new bowl. And Professor Kelly came in and said, You filthy dog. <coughs> Here, 407, the Magnet Museum. Oh, hello. Yes, you can hear me. Sorry. Tickety boo stall her. 15 minutes. Surprise. OK, bye. That wasn't Sheldon. Hurry up, lads. She'll be here in 15 minutes. And Nigel, stop playing around with the helium. I never touched it. Dr Phil Phillips, as I live and breathe. Hello, Pubis. Hello, daughter. Okay. Philip. I was just wondering whether you'd have a look in my ear. Well, I'm a vet. I'm not strictly qualified. I only deal with animals. I know. I think there may be a moth in there. Hello, Inspector. Are you here for the party? No. Official police business. Bonsai. <laughs> That one. To remain. I take the other one off the tray and place it gently on the surface of the container lid. Nice one. Well made. I'll have the other one. As well. <laughs> Put them in a bag. I don't need two bags. I'm not from Malawi. Hey! One nil. I still won. Ah. I found you. Oh, that was brilliant, Daddy. Your turn. Oh, no, no. We've got to go to Aunt Rita's birthday party. Now, you've made her a nice present. What is it? It's a space rocket, Daddy. Oh. <laughs> Let's try one more game. Close my eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What do you want? I'm coming. Oh, no, not ready. Right, I'm ready. I wonder where Daddy is. I'm over here. Where on earth can he be? Behind the sofa. Am I getting warmer? Yes, I'm here. Oh, there you are! Oh. Found you. Can I hide outside? No, 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 not outside, no, because it's it's not a controlled environment. See? No. We'll we'll just we'll just have a nice sit. Hello, 
Hello, Murray. I'm just having a break for a sec. I've just been looking after Mum. Uh, maybe uh, I could look after Mum and, and, and you could soar for a bit. Look at those hands, huh? Do you think Mum wants those hands stroking her hair or touching her legs, do you? Hmm? Hmm? No. No. Right, I'm off to Rita's party. Oh, great! I've just washed my hands. Sorry? Where are you going? Auntie Rita's. She's not your auntie. You've got to stay here and guard Mum. Wouldn't it be all right to leave Mum for an hour or so? Ten minutes? Eh? All right, Martin. You go to the party for ten minutes. And while you're there, you can stuff your face with chocolate and cheese <laughs> and meringues, yeah? yeah? And all those things you like. In that ten minutes, a bad man comes in, creeps upstairs and cuts Mum. No! Mm -hmm. How could you live with yourself, knowing that your selfishness killed Mum? I couldn't. I'm sorry, Mary, you're right. You have a really good time at the party. Oh, I'll try. But you've upset me so much, I'm not sure I'll be able to. Come on. Let's have a kiss. Sorry, ma'am. Oh, oh, Philip. Oh. 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 Entomologicus convulvus can. We've kept him warm. Minutes to go. I do hope Pat doesn't muff it up. Nigel, balloons up. Which, for its size, is one of the weakest magnets in the world. Oh, very interesting. I don't suppose we can uh, open the big red box with the bow on it, can we? Oh no, no. I thought we might wait until your surprise part part of the pleasure of working with magnets. You're teasing me, aren't you? Well, I don't want to open it now anyway. Good. Well, I must be making a move. I... No! No, I thought I might show you my family tree. My scalp, Pat. My scalp. Oh, hello, Murray. Martin not with you? No, he couldn't be bothered. Yes, he said not to bother inviting him to anything ever again. Oh. When's Rita coming? Clean magnet. Mm. Phil magnet. Sunil Magnet, adopted. Jackie Magnet, and oh, <laughs> I bet you don't know who that is. Of course I do. That's John Magnet. Yes, and he invented the magnet in 1444. 1444. Yes. Mm. And there's you. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good of me, isn't it? And there's Joe Magnet. <gasps> well, Pat, I've really got to be going. Yes, my twin, Joe. I don't talk about Joe. Don't, then. You see, Joe went no, away. No, really. Don't. Joe went away and never came back. Didn't even say goodbye. I, I've never felt quite right since. All wrong inside. Uh. We were like twins. You were twins. Baby Joe broke my heart. Good boy. Put it in the bin with the rest of the rubbish. Oh. Shh, shh, she's coming. Nigel, the lights. The lights coming. Shh, shh, shh. Oh. Oh. One of these buttons has a wet base. In your own time, shall we? Right, can't resist. Come on, get on. Get on. Get on. Surprise. 
Happy 44th birthday, darling. Surprise! Sorry, we're late. Speech. Speech. Oh, all this for me? <laughs> the banner? It was all thought out. The boring tour of the museum. The banner? Shell. <laughs> and this oh. is the genuine article. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, my wrists. Thanks, Pat. Can I open it now? If you want. <gasps> oh, cool, oh, Dad. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what is it? It's a model of the village. Oh, it's, it's lovely. No, I, I really love it, Pat. Thank you. Right. <laughs> anyway, that's how the village looks now. Not more. <laughs> And this is how the village is going to look. What's that? It's a prison. <laughs> oh, yeah, didn't I say? Sorry, I forgot. No, I'm selling the village to make way for a high-security prison. Naturally, I'll have to be split up and relocated. Here are the brochures. Do pass them around. They're in full colour, by the way. What kind of a sick birthday present is this? Well, for you a chocolate swine. They've got the bloke who called the coach drivers. They're hoping for him. He's not confirmed. Oh, there's that little girl that ate her dad's feet. <laughs> Pretty little thing. Sheldon, did you know about this? What right have you got to let them build a prison? I own this village. Oh. Well, no one can challenge the divine rights of the magnet, not even I. In 1444, John Magnet placed this very magnet into the ancient stone. It was a solemn occasion, marred only by the terrible blizzard. No! Handsome Sir John stood before the villagers, thousands upon thousands of them. <laughs> Magnatoth! Polaroth! <laughs> Magnatoth! Why were they there? Why, to witness the power of his magnet. So pleased was the king, I forget which one, with Sir John's invention, that he said to him, Listen, John, if your magnet really, really, really works, then I will grant you much land, and its boundaries shall be set by the furthest distance that your magnet can attract metal. <laughs> On that day, Sir John really went for it, attempting an amazing distance of 52 bevel straps. That's a 317 penard, that mile. Well, it worked, and thus the Magnet family acquired the village of Shah forevermore. Sir John's invention had been a real knockout. <laughs> you shit! Do you think I like being burdened with all this power? Having a potent symbol of all I own around my neck? Yes, yes. Do you? Yes. yes, I do. Although it does occasionally knock against me when I break into a run. Why here? Why us? It's the perfect place for a prison. We're not on any map. I'm sorry, I thought I had something to say. Just go with it. Pat Magnus, we built this restaurant with 15 years of hard work. Yeah, fat shit. Hey. Well, I'm sorry, but the man with the contract is coming with the contract for me to sign at six today. Hooray! <gasps> You shit. Just think of it. The name of the Magnet family and my twin Joe, who I never talk about, will be immortalised forever in this. The Joe Magnet Prison. Oh, and Rita, can you take Naughty Dog for me? Only my video's not recording. OK, bye. You shit! Yes. That's what I was going to say. Some surprise party this has turned out to be. Prisoner 24601, you're late. Oh. Slopping out at seven sharp. You know that. What are you talking about? 
Oh, I'm sorry, Kenneth. I'm just getting excited about the new prison. Oh, I can't wait. Do you want Governor Gomez to confiscate your flute? You are frightening my flowers and disturbing my guests. Guests? You haven't had a guest in 15 years. Uh, do you have a room? <laughs> anyway, I think we should check the book, love, don't you? <laughs> Uh, this is what we call the uh, guest lounge Oops. magazines. You know. Hey, you have satellite. Hmm? Oh, cable. <laughs> There's only one dish in this village, love. And that is you. <laughs> uh, 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 my uh, boyfriend, uh, Gavin, is a season ticket for the Hammers. Oh, you have a boyfriend? Ooh, romance, Paris and spring. <laughs> Voila, the uh, dining room. Oi, carino! <laughs> The guests tend to drift in for dinner at about seven o'clock. It's quite informal. Incidentally, I love your shirt. No, I'm starting to love you. <laughs> and this, <clears throat> of course, is uh, is my kitchen. Spaghetti! Yes, chef is very talented with hoops. Uh, so is Gavin. He take a can, he put petroleum, he throw at kiosk. Big bang. <laughs> it's very funny. Yeah, should we go upstairs? And this is room 12. Perfetta. I take it. It's well away from the main road. It's very quiet. You'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move, Lara. Stay there. Book, book, book. Mm, can't be. Ah, office. <laughs> Sign here. He's a Gavin. <laughs> I'm looking for him everywhere. He's Gorgios, no? He's strangely familiar. Huh? You know him? Mm, there's a certain ring about him. Hey, two, four, six, oh, one. <laughs> This thing hours are now over! He's Mr. Pig, no? Yes, there was one thing I forgot to mention. What are we gonna do? We're finished. I could put some shit through Pat's letterbox. It's never worked before. I could offer to have Pat neutered for free. Nah, Pat already did that at home. Maybe the boy's plan will work. Please don't sell the village and turn it into a prison. All we ask of you Give me is to ask you. Anyway, it's not real cheese. Well, what is it then? It's butter. It just looks like cheese. Taste it if you're so sure. Darn you, I will. Right, please. Mm -hmm. Well, it's cheese. Butter. Cheese. Butter. Cheese. Butter. Cheese. Butter. Cheese. Butter. Butter. Cheese. Butter. Butter. Cheese. Butter. Cheese. The Moffat brothers had an idea. It's a bit of a long shot, though. Help the arms. Damn. 30 seconds starting from now. Pat, did you hear about those statues that have been crying milk? Yes, yeah, so. Imagine if John Magnet there was to start crying, crying milk. milk. What do you think that would mean? Why, it would be an hideous omen. It would mean that John was very upset and that I shouldn't sell the village. Now. Oh, my word! John's not upset, he's elated! Hooray! Hooray! Good on you, John. You needed that. So you see, we've tried everything, Laura, but punches won't budge. Everything? Mm. You have tried. No, we haven't tried mine, Lord. No. Hey! Come on, hey! Gotcha! And I'm not waiting all day for you. And I've got things oh, to dear, do. Come on. I think I put too much pickle in these. Can I, please? Hey. I need to concentrate. I'm Come sorry. on, hey! Hey! Oh, you just did the magnet. Oh. Dart. Oh, you can. What a lovely dart. Ow. Hey, what have you got in your door. Oh, you the door. Yeah, okay. I'm not in You missed again. Clara, I can only do this if I have complete quiet. Down. Hey, but I'm not having you. You're actually strange. And I'm not, I don't know. I'm not about it. I don't like it. You like this 
Another dart. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, hey. How long would the darts work for, Philippe? Well, they take out a cow for about six hours. We've got six hours then, come on. Why me? Because you do the voice. Now get on with it. Uh, shall I help with the trousers, Mr. C? No, thank you. I can manage perfectly well by myself. Thank you very much. Uh, this is never going to work. I look more like Neil Diamond. Take it from me, Sheldon. You do not look like Neil Diamond. Oh, sir. It all seems perfectly normal. Hmm, I wonder. Let's find out. Good afternoon, man. Afternoon, Pat. Good to see you again. Look, should we get on? I'm a very busy man. So how many days a week do you actually shoot? Well, you have to go through a lot of donkey work before you get to use the gun. It's escaped. What can I say? I'm gutted, Pat. Well, that's my final decision. I'm definitely not signing. Are you absolutely sure that's what you want to do, Pat? Yes, darling. I'm giving you 24 hours to change your mind. Otherwise, I'm buying Bracknell. You get it sorted. Well, I can assure you, you won't be hearing from us again. And so, goodbye. Size is one of the weakest magnets in the world. Oh. And over here, baby Joe, is your dwelling. <laughs> as you can see, I've kept everything just as you left it. Right. Uh, thank you. Although I didn't like the wallpaper, so I painted over it. Oh, right. And I read this book on Feng Shui, and it said I should swap round the bed with a chest of drawers, so I did. But apart from that, oh yeah, and I borrowed your kite, but I lost it. Oh, baby Joe, it's like you've never been away. It's just the two of us again. Shut up! Come and sit on my lap, baby Joe. OK. 
Ken. Deep breath, Mr. C, otherwise you'll we'll be sick again. That's right. All Sheldon has to do is maintain his brilliant disguise and convince Pat not to sell the village. Is that too much to ask? Ken, bucket. I know. Let's play Squiddle. You start. Uh... Oh, don't tell me you've forgotten how it goes. Come on. <clears throat> and Mr. Bentley went to town. It wasn't a bumblebee, you know. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, fifty-five! <laughs> well done, Baby Joe, you're the winner. Baby Joe. Good night. Good night. Good night. Pat, Baby Joe can't sleep if Baby Joe thinks Patty's going to sell the village. Whatever happens, we'll always be together. Hey, okay, bye. But Pat! Shh, uh, uh, I'll <clears throat> sing you another lullaby. Beep is useful if you use it. Ah. Now, breakfast is 10.30 sharp. I do ask all the guests to be prompt. If you need anything in the night, Lara, don't hesitate to ring the bell. Grazie. Once again, love, I do hope you enjoy your stay. Grazie. Oh, good night. So sorry, Lara. Magnet attract. <laughs> Magnet repel. Oh, aren't you lucky? I wish I was having some of this. What a lovely breakfast. Magnet attract. I really don't think I could eat any more. Oh, but it's lovely, but... Uh, oh. oh, well. Bath time. Bath? Are you not about what I want is for you not to build a prison? Of course I'm building a prison and we can share a cell. Pat and baby Joe together forever. No! Leave me alone, you mad person. You're not baby Joe. No, I am not. Who are you? I'm Sheldon Cohen. What have you done with Baby Joe? Nothing. You've hidden Baby Joe down the well? No. You've thrown Baby Joe off a cliff? No, Pat. You cut up Baby Joe and put Baby Joe in the food. Everybody's been eating my Baby Joe. Gobble, 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 it's not nice to eat a baby. Pat, Baby Joe left years ago. But I want my Baby Joe. Pat, you have to accept. Baby Joe is never coming back. Get out. All of you. Get out. Chop, chop. We can shoot at the bag. Well, I'm not sitting over the bloody wheel out, so get bilious. Move it. Are we going away, Daddy? Yes. Is it like an adventure? No. Please show the bus respect, and the bus will respect you in turn. Two minutes, please! Two minutes! Oh, hello, Doctor. Cubis, I never knew you worked with the underprivileged. Who? Oh, them. Yeah. They said to me... Nigel, thanks so much for your work. Go on, have a bus. This is your 30 second warning. Move it, laughing boy. Sorry? Where are you going? I'm getting on the bus. No, they're mum seats. Mum says that you have to go in the boot. Oh, can't I sit next to mum just this once? No, you don't want to make mum any more real than she already is, do you? Come on. Love you! I don't think there's any need to say goodbye. Come on, Sheldon. I did try. I know you did, baby. I'd rather you didn't call me that right now, actually. Go on, shut off, you bunch of losers! <laughs> and you. <laughs> Go on.
So tired. Still, at least I'll always have Baby Joe. Baby Joe is never coming back. Oh, Baby Joe. What have I done now? Never. Never. Magnatus Polaris to get that naughty dog video oh. off you. Oh. Still, while you're here, you might as well stay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Run out of cake mix. Mom. Murray. I'm sorry. 